let's go even deeper in studying our topology and try to ping a device on the network that we can't access. So um, this is one of the really cool things I like about Packet Tracer is that you can set up these scenarios no matter how simple or complex and study them. Not just test of your configuration and connectivity, but you can also continue to look at the simulation and how failures affect the network and what failures look like through packets and PDUs. So let's let's do this, follow along. I'm gonna go ahead and start a ping, but this time I'm gonna start a continuous ping, which means a ping that happens until you tell it to stop. So I'm gonna do ping-t, and then I'm gonna do 192.168.0.11. That dash t is a flag for the ping command that tells it to keep going until someone stops it, right? So we're gonna do that. It's gonna keep going. You know, I'm getting some successes. We've seen that already. Now let's go ahead and terminate this cable, or or uh, delete it so we can go you know choose our deleting tool make sure you've clicked off so you don't accidentally delete the PC and then hit here and then notice when we go back to the selector tool and click on the PC what happens with our continuous ping the the ping we, is a different message now now uh, I do teach at a community college and we do a lot of hands-on labs with the equipment and even in packet tracer and I have uh, some uh, Entry-level students come to me and, and when they first learn how to ping and set up IPs and physical connections and they tell me, oh, well, you know, Mr. Tyson, I, I'm i getting a reply. And I'm like, that's great. What's the reply say? And they're like, oh, it's a, it's, it's, it's a successful reply. And I'm like, what tells you it's a successful reply? <laughs> and, 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 and they're like... And they go back and check, right? And and they come back and tell me, it says timed out, but that's a reply, right? And I say, yeah, it's a reply, but it's not a successful one. So um, that's a key aspect here is when, in IT, there's, you need to have an attention to detail. So let's, let's see what this looks like. Go ahead and terminate that. I use control C as my termination sequence. Let's see this happen in um, simulation mode. So flip over to simulation mode with that connection still uh, deleted, and let's do the ping again, right, the continuous ping. You'll see, when you hit play, it'll just do it automatically. You don't have to keep going step by step. So we can see what's happening here. I'm gonna actually hit that just to speed it up. What's happening, it keeps trying, right? Why does it keep trying? You wanna see, select this oops I keep doing that so we can see what type of message it is inbound PDU we can see it's still destined to 0 0.11 where do you think that request timeout message is coming from I'll wait yeah if you thought oh, well, there's no way that that's a reply from another device, then you're right. It's actually coming from that PC4 itself. It's saying uh, PC4 has basically got a timeout period at a, at a number of seconds that it's waiting before it says, well, user or person trying to ping, this isn't working out for you. So that's cool, right? So there's not just the successful replies, but there's also unsuccessful replies in our ICMP and our protocol stack on our computer help us to understand what these errors mean and what these events on the network result in.